How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, back again, playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. And today I want to dedicate this video to just leveling up some of my legends that are close to level 25. Because as many of you know, it's been my quest for quite a while now to get every legend to level 25. Actually, let me go ahead and check in my store, see how many black legends I have. Because once you get level 25, you can purchase black color for 25,000 coin. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. I thought I had more than that, but I got 23 black legends. And I also have uh, the entire top row of legends is all uh, black. And then the entire uh, second row is black except for Baraza and Ulgrim. So I'm gonna start the video out with Baraza and Olgrim and then we'll move on from there and the reason I'm doing free-for-all is because I find that I get the most experience um, to level up my legend when I play free-for-all now it it may or may not be true for you because it depends whether you win or not but if you win you can get like 200 XP uh, every game which is quite a bit Plus, uh, a lot of people frown on free-for-all as like a means to train or, you know, get better, but I've actually uh, found that playing free-for-all with a legend that you're especially not very good with, like maybe a legend you're kind of new with, free-for-all is actually a great place to learn how to play the legend. And I can prove that because I was not very good with uh, gauntlets. And I started playing free-for-all so that I could get uh, Zariel to black. And just from doing that, I really wanted to kill these guys because they're all in red. red. So I'm just going to sig spam a little bit. And I got really decent with uh, Zariel um, just from playing free-for-all. And I also got really good at, well, I shouldn't like, I'm not trying to flex or anything, but I improved a lot with gauntlets just from playing uh, free for all oh my gosh I was doing fine until <laughs> until Isaiah came in there with that cannon ooh I need to actually oh never mind I'm in first Goodbye, Yumiko. And she DC'd. I wonder why, man. You get that a lot in free-for-all, but... Oh, well. So, a little secondary girl, a goal that I'm going to put on myself here just to make it a little more interesting because... I get that free-for-all is not quite as interesting. Wow, what a snipe on that. Not quite as interesting as a 1v1, but... I'm going to make it interesting by putting a goal on me here to get 2,000 damage. If I can get 2,000 damage, which is looking like it's going to be kind of hard here. Two thousand damage is not easy to do, even in free for all. It's also something you can't really do if you're sig spamming because sigs do do more damage, but in order to get 2,000 damage, you're going to have to do a lot of attacks. And also, just a lot of attacks on, like, everyone. Like, see how I'm getting all three of them or two of them at once? I wish that I could tell like what my damage was at already.
Like, just to put it in perspective, if you guys never look at the damage, a typical game you'll have like, I don't know, maybe like four or five hundred damage. Like, in a 1v1. Alright, let's see how I did. I won the game, but did I get 2k? Oh my gosh, so close. So close, guys. 1800 damage. Almost 1900. So close. See that XP I just got? Big chunk, and that was at level 23. So probably three more games with Braza, and I'll level him up. But let's go ahead and switch it over to Ulgrim this time. I'm going to do Jotun Ulgrim. Jotun. Actually, I do that one all the time. Let's do Apprentice Ulgrim. Everybody loves the Apprentice Ulgrim. Probably, probably one of the best looking skins in the game. Don't you guys agree? What does this skin justice for me is the bulging eyeballs, like, on his face. They just stand out so much. Alright guys, same thing. I'm going to go for 2,000 damage here. And the win, of course, but I'm assuming I'll get the win. You never know, though. I mean, I've actually lost minigame of Free Frawl. It's going to be hard to get 2,000 damage if I'm only fighting one guy. This map is going to be definitely hard to get 2,000 just because it's so spread out. I'm really not the best with Lance, but I'm actually learning, like, Gravity Cancel uh, Light Attacks are actually really uh, good with the Lance. Wow, just almost killed myself there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get the 2,000 damage, guys, but let's at least go for the win. Wow, Ragnar is so lucky right now. Oh, Ragnar finally died and Mirage totally stole my kill. I'm just kidding, there's no such thing as a kill steal in free for all, man. That's why it's called free for all. Now I can get some damage now that the map is a lot smaller. Oh my goodness, Ragnar! You killed yourself for that kill. Oh no, I got the kill. I got credit for that somehow. Oh my goodness, stop jumping on me. I think even at this point, if I get 1500 damage, I'll be happy. 
kind of hard to rack up the damage on this map. Dang it, Ulgrim. Or, I mean, Ragnar, he's actually catching up. I got 10 seconds here. I don't think they'll catch me. There we go, got Ulgrim. Or, I mean, Ragnar. I was going for Ragnar for that revenge kill after I was trying to get him. Yeah, I didn't even get 1500 damage, man. That that map was bad, but look at that XP, guys. 208 XP. Feels good. So, I'm not going to do these guys again because obviously you probably don't want to see that the whole game. Although some of you might. But I am going to level up on my third row. I don't have nearly as many Black Legends. I still need to level up Jala, Kor, Val, Cross. Mirage, Nyx, basically everyone, Mirage, Yumiko, Artemis. The only person I have black on the third row is uh, Wuxiang and Ragnar. That's it. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Val because she's level 23 and I really want to get her to uh, 25 so I can get black with her. She's one of my favorite legends. I think with Val I could definitely uh, get the 2k damage depending on the map. So we'll see here map like this would be pretty easy to get the damage because it's so it has this one spot down here underneath the platforms that are good for bouncing people around and getting damage but we'll see going against an isaiah diana and thatch by the way i hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys are it's sunday today last little bit of this uh big long weekend for most americans here Sorry, Diana. I'm not going to let you whip somebody this early in the game. Sorry. Wow. No, Isaiah! Oh my gosh, Thatch with that double kill unarmed. Savage. I think Thatch is going for the 2k damage as well. Wow, Diana came out of nowhere. Nice sig there, uh, Isaiah. I'm gonna have to start doing some break dancing because that does a lot of damage. That's right, double kill, baby! Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, I just got completely and utterly destroyed there. Double teamed. Oh my gosh! Thatch actually gave up.
Val's breakdance does like 35 damage if you hit with all of it. No, Isaiah! I need the damage! Oh, it's a tiebreaker? Oh dang, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Come on, dude. GG though, GG. Oh, not even close to 2k damage though. Not even close. Alright, I'll do one more game. Who do I want to level up? Hmm. Who's going to get me 2k damage? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I could do anyone on the bottom row as well. Because I need to level up. Actually, I have Zario Black. And that's it on the bottom row. So... Who's going to get me a lot of damage? For some reason, I'm thinking Artemis. Artemis. Let's do it, baby. I've always wanted a black Artemis as well. I think Artemis is a good legend to get to rack up damage on the Lance and the Scythe and just the Sigs that Artemis has. By the way, Artemis is a girl. A lot of times I call Artemis a she or a her and people in the comments are like, Artemis is a guy. I'm like, nope. She's a girl, and so is Nyx. A lot of people still think Nyx is a boy, too. Nyx is a girl, man. Have you looked at Nyx's skins? I mean, she has boobs. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at Wipeout Nyx. Just saying. All right, let's go. Prolixius, human, and robot something. All right, this is a good map, guys. Good map for racking up damage. Thank you, Val, for saving my life. This Atori is just spamming the down sig. Wow, I just won't die now. Look at this. I'm in like black damage. Oh, I finally died, dude. I'm doing really good on damage, but really bad on actual kills, so... Maybe I should focus on that, because I do want to win the match. There's one. There's another kill. Nice domination! Oof. Ouch, dude. I feel like these guys are all like teaming up on me. I don't know if I'm gonna get 2k, but ain't no way I'm gonna lose. No, I just want the weapon. Why do you keep throwing your bow away after you do like one string? Like walking away like a cool dude from an explosion, but you actually need that weapon still because it's free for all.
No, I killed myself, but I still got first place, baby. 25 seconds. There we go. GG! Wow, Val almost got that kill, which would have not tied it. Well, at least I broke 1k damage every game, right? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought. But yeah, that, uh, going back to what I was talking about originally, if you are not very good, like let's say like you want to learn cannon, right? But you're really, really bad with cannon. I would recommend pick a cannon legend, any cannon legend, your favorite one, and then just do... Free for all games over and over and over and over until you get level 25 with that legend. It, it takes a couple days, but you will be a lot better with cannon because when you play it over and over and over on free for all, you learn the the timings. It's not as uh, like when you're doing 1v1, you really have to focus on uh, surviving and killing that guy. But if free for all, you can, you know, not people aren't always trying to kill you all the time. You can kind of just take your own pace. I mean, yeah, they are trying to kill you, but, you know, sometimes they'll be distracted killing each other. And, I don't know, it's just fun. You get triple knockouts and stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.